So one of the uh, habits that I particularly want to emphasize in this program, um, although they're all relevant, I think that we haven't time necessarily to go through all of the habits in detail. But maybe the first habit, which is the habit of be proactive, is one that we could say a few words about. And a key principle within that is this notion that between stimulus and response, there's a, there's a gap. And uh, if one recognizes that that gap exists, then one can exercise um, proactivity in the choice of the things that you will do. Uh, in response to the environment that you find yourself in, maybe on a practical to on a practical level to to uh, use an example uh, in relation to the circle of concern and circle of influence, one exercise that you could um, engage in is to draw up a list of issues that are of concern. So another principle that Covey talks about in the habit of being proactive relates to what he calls the circle of concern and the circle of influence. And we could imagine maybe a donut uh, where the center part of the donut maybe is our, is our influencing circle and the, con- the outer side is outer part of the donut is, our, is our, um, the issues that are concerning, uh, concerning us. So um, he is emphasizing the point that rather than getting drawn into an exercise of worrying um, about these things that are concerning to us by definition, that we focus rather on those facets or aspects um, of these concerns that we can have some influence over and that we act. And in that process of acting, um, that we actually increase our influence um, on those uh, concerns and in a sense if the the center of the donut gets bigger and the outer core gets smaller so um, but it does require in the first instance a choice uh, to make a distinction um, between issues that we can have a direct influence on and issues that we um, we can't um, and to discern between the two and to act on the issues that uh, we can have a direct influence on.